When I was a kid, we never really had a home to call our own. Most of my childhood was being on the streets, being in cars, motels, and ever since then, I've been in the cycle of homelessness. For the past two years, we were living at a motel. I was able to maintain a job while living at the motel. And every week, I was paying $4.50 for the motel. I lost my grandfather in 2017. He was everything to me. He was my father. My world came crashing down. I remember going to work and I had to talk to my boss and I was, it was a hard heart. I told him, look, I'm asking for some time to grieve for my grandfather. He said, okay, you can have your time. And I was thinking, okay, great. Went to the funeral, said my goodbyes. And when I came back, I was let go. They fired me. It devastated me. All I can think was, what am I going to do to pay the room? Where are we going to go? I broke down because I'm like, I don't want my kids being on the street. And I just got on my knees and I'm like, please. You know, everything that I've been through, I've tried my best to be a mom that, you know, the way you wanted me to be. I just need something, something, anything. You would think in a city like Los Angeles, there would be a lot of affordable housing. That's not the case. The truth is there's only like a 1% vacancy rate. And at that rate, it's very hard to locate an affordable apartment, especially. And there are 15,000 people living in their cars in Los Angeles. It is a disaster of epic proportions. So Ruby called the 211 number and they directed her to Union Rescue Mission, the only place for families that are struggling on the streets. When I first came to Hope Gardens, I had a black hoodie that I would always wear to cover myself because I didn't want nobody to see me. I was angry, I was tired, I was frustrated, I was miserable, I was unhappy with myself. One big thing that we provide folks who've experienced trauma is safety and peace to even stop running and take a moment to reflect and think about their future. And then uh, the real healing part is the community of other moms who've had the same experience. And then we have counseling available to help them work through some of the pain that maybe they've been pushing away and, and haven't even dealt with. Yeah, that's something I haven't gone through. <laughs> Everybody here loves on you. It's nothing but love. One of the mornings that I had a class, I remember Ms. Terry was the instructor for that day. I just wanted to share my story with you because I can relate. Um, my oldest son, um, I was 17 when I had him, 16 when I got pregnant, and I had a gift. She shared a testimony. Her story was kind of like mine, how she felt guilty. She felt that it was all her fault. And I cried because I was like, I'm not alone. And there's other people who feel my pain, who know what I'm going through. And I remember that day that I got out of her class, I was coming down the little pathway. And I just got to my knees and I said, you know what, God, I can't do this on my own anymore. I have to surrender to you. So my faith that day, it grew into something so beautiful, so pure. It was because of his grace, his love, that I was able to get out of where I was at and be the person that I am, because this is who I truly was meant to be. Ruby graduated from Hope Gardens and now has two apprenticeships. And one is uh, working with our little ones in daycare and then the other one is uh, being a bus supervisor. We have uh, moms who travel along on the bus to and from school to make sure that everyone's safe. My two girls are elementary and my son is in middle school. Well, my kids, they got me through all this. I couldn't imagine myself losing my, any of my children. We have everything we need here and I've never had that kind of support in my life. It's just a blessing. This is a place where they help transform your life into something more beautiful. 
it's a safe haven actually that's how i see it to be able to grow and be the person you're meant to be